Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to use the ideal gas law. Therefore I have prepared some calculations. At first the formula is pressure multiplied with the volume is equal to the amount of substance multiplied with the ideal gas constant and the temperature. <coughs> what is the ideal gas constant? It is equal to 8.3144598 joule per kelvin mole. Uh, the first calculation. We have 3 atm, 3 liter and 1.5 mole and we want to find out the temperature. So we form the formula to the temperature. And so the temperature is pressure multiplied with volume divided through uh, the amount of substance and the ideal gas constant. So at first you have to uh, put the unities in the correct dimensions. For the ideal gas constant you have to transform the uh, unity from joule to uh, newton meter. So the unity for the ideal gas constant is newton meter divided by kelvin mole. Our 3 liter are equal to 1.00 uh, 0 0.003 uh, cubic meter. And our 3 ATMs. 1 ATM is equal to 1.01325 1 bar and this is equal to 1. 1325 multipli uh, multiplied with uh, 10 to the power of 5 newton per square meter. So our three ATMs would be 3975 uh, 3, newton per square meter. And if we put all these uh, terms in our formula, we have 303,975 multiplied with 0 0.003 divided by 1.5 multiplied with 8.3144598 and the unities are written behind. So Newton divided through Newton is 0. We have uh, the uh, cubic meter and uh, divided by square meter multiplied with meter. So we have cubic meter divided through uh, cubic meter and mole divided uh, by mole. And what stands uh, at the end is Kelvin. So if you multiply this, you have uh, 33.12 Kelvin. So for our second calculation we want to find out how to uh, applicate the formula to find out the amount of substance. And therefore you have to transfer the formula to uh, n is equal to pressure multiplied with volume divided by uh, the ideal co gas constant multiplied with the temperature. So what we know from our first um, calculation is uh, if you want to uh, transfer the ATM to Newton per uh, square meter. Uh, 1.5 ATMs are equal to 50,662.5 Newton per square meter. And the 0 0.75 liter are equal to 0 0.00075 cubic meter. And if we put all this in our formula, uh, the 0 0.5 ATMs, 0 0.75 liter and the 300.15 Kelvin, uh, you have to list it like this. And if you multiply this out, uh, we have 15.22 millimole. So for our third calculation we want to find out about the volume. So we transform the formula for the volume which is equal to uh, 
amount of substance multiplied with the ideal gas constant multiplied with the temperature divided by the pressure. So our pressure is 750 torr. Our amount of substance is 3.33 uh, mole and the temperature is 300 Kelvin. What we do first again is transform the unities into the correct dimensions. We know one bar is equal to 760 torr or 10 to the fifth uh, Newton per square meter. So 700, 750 torr is equal to uh, 99,991.8 Newton per square meter. So if we put all our terms again into the formula and multiply this out, um, mole and mole is shortened, uh, newton and newton, and at the end we have uh, 1 0, uh, 0 0.08314 cubic meter or 83.14 liter. So our last example is the pressure. If you form the ideal gas law to the pressure, you have pressure is equal to uh, the amount of substance multiplied with the ideal gas constant and the temperature divided by the volume. Our values are 750 milliliter, uh, 0 0.75 mole and 298 Kelvin. So our 750 milliliter are equal to 0 0.00075 cubic meter. And now you only have to put the values into the formula, again like before, and then you multiply and it's uh, 2,477,709 0.0204 newton per square meter and now you only have to form it to ATM and this is uh, 24.45 ATMs. Thanks for your attention. I hope you could learn something and now try it on your own.